Medina. This is what the chain root look like. Sarsi Perla. They call it the snake plant. Bloodwist. Man back. Eucalyptus. The left man strength. The raw moon back. The stamina. That's the endurance that it power out. Boom. Boom. <laughs> It's Matthew here in the mystical Blue Mountains of Jamaica. I'm hanging out with my friend Buru today. We're doing another hike, checking out some herbs and plants, ones that we missed last time, and this time with a specific focus, plants that are good for strength, power, and endurance. So listen up if you need any of those three characteristics. Some of these roots are used in Roots Tonic, a very famous healthy drink that they have here in Jamaica. And we're gonna hear a lot more from Buru, so Let's go catch up with the man himself. Yeah, hopefully the weather cooperates. It's been pretty rainy. You can't even see Kingston down there below, but I promise you Kingston, Jamaica is somewhere somewhere over there. Morning, Buru, what's going on? Yeah, bless. Yes. Everything good? Big thanks, Rastafari. Yes. Yeah, man. Good yes, to, you know. Good to be back. Nice to see you again. Sure, yeah, we give thanks, man. Uh, we're still here holding it, you know? I'll yeah. give thanks every time we see the eye too. Blessing, you know? That's the far right. Yeah, man. So we have to do part two of the herb tour. Yeah, this time we want to explore a little more in you know, the deep, you know, like the, the strength and the stamina and the endurance you now, because most men are feel in other matter the right now. And you know, women outnumber men in the world right now by a vast amount, than, <laughs> you know? Yeah. They need the strength, so we're going to go deep in a little more looking at the, in the tonic in about tonic today. Nice. But before we go into them tonic thing there, we're sitting right here because it's raining now in Jamaica. We are in the mountains, you know, as we speak. I was sitting right here under the noni tree, so I was telling Matthew I can't leave. I would not speak about the noni, you know. So uh -huh. the noni tree is right here. Okay. Yeah man, so can't let them see the noni. So yeah, it's a very healthy fruit, but it's also known as puke fruit, stink fruit. It's known as a starvation fruit because people only eat it when they're starving. But that doesn't mean there's not a lot of benefits to it, so. <laughs> Real man, because some people are afraid of it, you know. Oh, big time. I heard yeah. duppy sour sauce. Yeah, that's duppy sauce. Yeah, duppy sauce. You know, we're, we're at Jumbi sour sauce. Duppy sour sauce. Yeah. But this duppy sour sauce, you know, man, I tell you, the leaves of the tree, depression, anxiety. Skin disorders, a whole lot of different things are the sun and the fruit. A lot of skin, any skin disorders you have on them things uh, the same yeah. way. You can okay. take care of it by using the fruit. And you know it's kind of as I say, I don't feel so as up and some people feel that it is. But what you can do with it if you don't want to just, you know, you can add it to one of your juice, one of your favorite smoothies. The juice is very important for you. You can drink this juice every day. It's required that you don't go over 750 milliliter for the day though. But that's a whole lot because 70 milliliter is a whole quart, what we would call a quart bottle. Yeah. So you wouldn't even think of going that far. We just use it maybe sometimes and drop it throw it in the juice and you know. Very, 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 very well, good food. Do you ever eat it yourself? No, I don't eat it like that. Yeah. I juice it. Okay. I use the juice of I it. I feel like we should do Tough Man Challenge right now and I should take a bite of Noonie to show yeah, people but, how bad it is. Yeah, but guess what? No, I don't even see a I ripe one. I see one ripe yellow one up atop, so. Yeah? You see it there? Just up above? I can't quite reach it though. Uh, right, up, right up here, a yellow one. Okay, <laughs> Bruce going for it. It'll be just to your right side. You see a yellow one close to the bottom? <laughs> yeah. Here we go. And this one is not even because normally it's ripe enough. Yeah. But it's not ripe enough, it's not soft. Uh, so if you're gonna bite, you're gonna take a crunch out of it like oh, a Oh really? <laughs> oh, it's quite hard. <laughs> yeah, it's normally eaten soft, right? Uh, I don't know, should I try it? Put a bit in that same fruit with for arthritis too. Okay. People wanna lose weight. Uh, See, it just says a bad taste, but it's helps you to lose weight. Okay. Good for weight loss, you know? Yeah. All right, I'm doing the Tough Man Challenge. Here we go. Don't try this at home, kids. You know what? It tastes better when it's crunchy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have the smell yet. 
it doesn't have that nasty, nasty smell. So look at that. Okay. So I'm telling you, I did this last year when I was here and uh, yeah, it's a whole different world when it's soft and ripe. It stinks. This doesn't smell at all. All right, that was surprising. <laughs> smell is yeah. internal things here with removal, parasitic things there and bacteria mm -hmm. from inside. The only juice is just, they usually call it like a miracle fruit when they really found out about it. Yeah, yeah it does a lot of things. And we couldn't leave without to saying something about Mr. Jackfruit. You ever heard of a jackfruit oh, tree? Oh yeah. This is a jackfruit tree. Oh, for real? Yes, man, that's a jackfruit With tree. a very small one. Yeah, you don't start putting on any fruit yet, but it is a jackfruit mm. tree. Yeah. And you know, everything have a little medicine same way, so the jackfruit leaves same way, still have it, you know? Yeah. Control and rub. It's a skin rub to see if we control any little skin problem you have, you can mm -hmm. rub like the jackfruit leaf tea and rub it on your skin too, you know? So here's jackfruit. So yeah, jackfruit is an interesting one because it's the biggest tree fruit in the world. Word. So, you know, the biggest ground fruit I think is pumpkin, but the biggest one on a tree, I mean, it grows, how big would you say? Like way bigger than a football even. Like, yeah, 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 it's bigger than a football. Huge. Bigger than a football, Big, yeah. bigger than a football, but it's because it don't shape like a football. Yeah, it's more, it's long. More, yeah, kind of yeah, round. Yeah, so it could green, be double the size of a football. Same yeah. way. Yeah. I don't know what to what to compare to. Four human heads. There you yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. man. Rest of all right. Hopefully the rain cooperates. It's always a blessing being up here. It's super quiet. I think I'm the only guest right now, so it's it's always mellow to begin with, but it's extra mellow right now. You learned all about those last time, right? Yeah. You learned all about the pearl weaver. Yeah, we yeah, did a yeah. lot. You learned about the fennel. So you're passing them by the way, you know, you learned about the chapter, right? Mm -hmm. Last time. Yeah. Yeah, all these we had a good chat about, so... I'll link to the original Masterclass video below. So check out the first one that we did. It's a really interesting one, very in-depth. And we hit, I don't know how many plants, burrow, but we... Uh, a whole heap. And they're all categorized, so you can just click on each one if there's one that interests you. They're uh, documented with a timestamp. So this is from the Croton family, yeah? This one called it Pavana. Okay. Pavana plant. Yeah. This plant here, yeah, simple as a seed, look like a little flowers. Mm. It does a lot, you know, to deal with illness. It, it has a lot of things, as I say. Anything, any carbuncles and boils and all these things, and any parasitical infection and bacteria and all these things. This plant take care of it. Is this one and that you would grind up like a poultice then, the, the it leaves can, of it? Well, it can be used in internal. This is not, we don't use this like we use the comfrey externally. Yeah, but well you can use it external too. For instance, you're gonna put use it on a boil or the carbuncle now. What's a carbuncle? The, another skin? Another skin, skin so yeah, issue. like yeah. 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 And uh, any skin disorder you're gonna use, you could. What I would normally do is extract it and make it get liquid form. Yeah. If you're gonna use it on the skin, you know, you put it on it in liquid form. If it's a boil now, then you could just use the poultice, make it into a poultice, yeah. and then put it on and it's and that will bring it down. So the Pavana flowers, it's a very, very, very important flowers. It's also help with blood circulation, blood pressure regulation. So poor circulation, Pavana can be used the same way. Yeah. It regulates the blood pressure. That means you can get it from low to high and balance it, or get it back from high to low and balance it where it's supposed to be. Yeah. So it's a very important medicinal plant, the Pavana flowers. Rastafari. I'm thinking about the roadway to go now because if we go down there it's going to be a, a walk where we're not going to see much of what we don't know about yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking it's best we go up. Okay. I think it's best we go up. Yeah, you know, let's go. We can see. Yeah. If we get wet, we get wet. Yeah. It's okay. We're not going to go too far up though. Okay. I'm just going to get the team and show you the leaves. Come on, see the same, same, this is the same clothing, same family. Oh yeah, the other one. It's just different yeah. color leaves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's this one? Smell it. Mm. This is the tree that it comes off. 
And if I didn't know that this tree was here, I was thinking that we have to go into the woodland to see a tree to see one of these trees. Trust me. I just realized that this tree there, right here. So. Whoa! Hmm. See, smell the bark. Uh -huh. Almost smells like vanilla. I wanted to bring out the flavor that you smell. Ah, you no know? Way. Yeah, okay, yeah. this is called the raw moon bark. Ah, I've heard of that one for weeks. Moon. Yes. All right, this is the raw moon tree bark. Uh -huh. We normally use the bark. We use some of the leaves to like, with the, like some of the branches and everything. There, you know. Now it's not um. We are not in the time to reap herbs now, so you wouldn't find me reaping herbs right now or getting the herbs. Yeah. So even if we go into the woodland, I wouldn't cut the things now. I would just show you them. Right, because this is not the time now for cut for reaping herb. This, this is not the we, we do it in the full moon and the dark night. The new moon just gone now, so we don't do deal with herbs now. We don't look herbs now, right? So this is the raw moon bark. This is one of I'm not gonna say the main, but all of them some main and proper half one of the tonic that we make the tonic with the tonic. For men, endurance not only for men, you know, because women need endurance too, and it's good for fatigue, like people who go through a lot of fatigue and all these things, and need the stamina. But this is for stamina, endurance, impotency, longevity. Or <laughs> <laughs> also known as power in a reptile. Yeah, man, this. Is one of the main things that you put in the tonic. Yeah? Remember it. Raw moon bark. Because I'm going to show you some more of what we would, I would use in a tonic. Because I can use like three of these things that make tonic. That's so powerful. But we're still going to go because we're making tonic. We still do more than three. But three of these, three things combined together. Alright, for instance, I don't have the Medina up here now. We don't have Medina in the mountain. Medina grow like in the, in, in, in the lower years, like Clarendon and St. Catherine. Yeah? But Medina would be one of the powerhouses. That's good for the same thing that I tell you about. Endurance, longevity, stamina, all of these things. That's what Medina, Medina does too. So would have you combine this with the Medina plant. So it's Ramon, Medina. You have another wisp which we don't have up here either, so I'm not going to be able to show you it, but it's very popular, so you, anyone can go anywhere and ask for it, and you get it from any one of the men who sell herbs or anything, that they call saucy perla. This, that's another tonic wisp that does the same things as what we were discussing before with this. So you have the Ramon, Medina, saucy perla, and then you have Mr. Cheney Root, that's another one, the, the dark root. reddish brown color. Yes. And that one, that one is, I would call, if I'm going to say the, the boss, if I'm going to call any one of them the boss, I would have to call Cheney Root okay. the boss. Because Cheney Root is the one who gives you a lot of trouble to reap. Yeah. To get it, you got you to gotta, you gotta identify the wisp first, which carries mm -hmm. some, and then you got to dig it. So sometimes they go like under the earth, under rocks and all of that, and you have to dig, dig, <laughs> dig this big hole just to get to them, you know, and they always just solid and tough and hard like root. Yeah. Yeah, so you have to work to get the chain root. It's very so, woody, I remember, when it's you cut a woody, in wood. It, it's it's like almost wood. like, yeah, like a yes, solid Yes, it's like wood, wood yeah. but I'm telling you. Yeah. And then you have the, so, so you see, I tell you, the three of them can make you that tonic, you know. Three of them can make you that powerful tonic, even this by itself. This by itself, the same ramon by itself, it's a tonic. Mm. So you can boil it by itself and it still works. You can use the chain root by itself. You can use the Medina by itself. Yeah? So you can imagine when you combine all of these things that I'm telling you now, that's good for the same reason as a tonic. <coughs> then you have one that they call blood whisk. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Just like the name of it is red. When you cut it, the inside part looks red like so. And when you boil it, it gives a red. It gives off a red thing like how the chain root will give off a red yeah, yeah. liquid. It gives off red too, but that is another tonic whisk. So when you drink that, these boil these together. So you have the raw moon bark, Medina, Sarsi Perla, Bloodwis. Then you have the Levman strength, which we use in it too. Then you have another whisk there called the poor man's strength. <laughs> you see me? We <laughs> yeah, use that yeah. in it too. 
but I don't stop there because that's a big tonic that I just listed out a while ago. I have some more ingredients, most of that I put in my tonic quest. I'm not gonna say it's a secret because we don't keep secret, you know. We don't we tell people all these things, but because you cannot go, even if you find all of the things them that I tell you about and put it in your tonic and deal with the tonic, I'm still gonna have something over your tonic. My tonic is still gonna have something over even though I do give you the same ingredients. Why? Because I don't just work alone physical, we work spiritually too. <laughs> yeah, so the prayer that we pray to the Almighty to bless our medicine still gonna make it more potent. But I'm giving you all the ingredients for yours that you can do the same and make your own tonic. Yeah, so this is a tonic as I've told you about Ramon, Medina, Sarsi Perla. You how much time I list them out, sir? Because I want the men them to be strong because right now it's good a dangerous time coming up now, right now. They say seven women shall take hold of one man in the days coming. In the years coming, yeah. So if it's gonna happen like that, I'm not saying it's gonna happen for us here on the mountain. But if it's gonna happen down there for these men down there, you're gonna need some tonic, <laughs> yeah. So I'm telling you, Ramon Bark, Medina, Sarsi Perla, Man Bark, Bloodwis, <laughs> Left Man Strength, Poor Man Strength. And all these things that I'm going to tell you about now, you're not going to see all of them because I don't have all, most of them, I don't have them in the hills here. I have to go to different parishes to look for them. Like the green whisk, that's another nerve whisk that's good for the nerves. Mm. So we combine it along with the one them that goes for tonic too. Yeah? And we have one that we have up here in the mountains called yellow whisk. And that does the same type of thing. So we put all of these together plus other things and we make a tonic. All right, we're just heading back up a little bit now. Different chardings, you know? Yeah. Yeah, making us see if we can see a spot or something. This is what the chain route look like. Yeah. As I tell you, we have to dig far down on the ground to get this. Yeah, far and dig to under rocks and things to get this. This chain route, yeah. And yeah, it's. It feels Tough. quite light, but it's very, very hard. hard. It's not like a yam that you could press into or something like that. And you can see the red, the reddish color. Because when I've had the tea, it becomes very, very red. Yeah. Almost looks like a rooibos tea. Yeah, so at least mm. we found a piece of chain root. Because you know, I could, we couldn't go in nowhere in the forest right now in this rain to try to dig mm. any of this to show. So we now we found a piece, can show what chain root look like. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Venturing a little further every time. Yeah. It's a very mystical feeling day, Baru, with all the mist. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's a real vibe yeah, up here when it's in the rain, you know. It's real. You see that tree there? That big tree over there, they call it sinking tree. See those fruits on it? Yeah. Yeah, mm. man. I use it to make a punch. Some people make it by how to make it by with the punch you wait, you have to wait until this fall off a tree. Yeah, and that time it's fully mature. And they look like a big brown seed. Big brown uh, nut and you break it. Yeah. And inside. Some people just eat it like that, but I like to make a punch from it. So I put it like in water mm -hmm. and let it with some ginger and all of that cut up in it. And let it like soak for some hours. Like seven, eight hours then squeeze them off because they're going to slide off the seed mm -hmm. so you just de-seed it and get away, get rid of the seed and leave the thing and then you have that and you can use, put it in your blender with the ginger because the ginger is still going to be in it and just blend it mm. and spice it up with some nutmeg and thing wow that's That'd a punch a do. that's yeah. a punch and that's so so good for worm, for your intestines, for our intestinal worms and them things there and for power, yeah man it's a good punch mm -hmm. I Do you think it. we'd find any on the ground over there right now? No, or? you wouldn't find it on the ground no, but you could find it like when you're going back down in the city. Yeah. They have some trees that are for are, that are dropping now. But this one is the first time this one's bearing you know. This one oh, yeah. this one yeah, we, we actually this plant is since we come here. Mm -hmm. Someone eating and just throw a seed and it grows since we live here. So it's the first time it's gonna gonna so it don't stop drop at it, it don't mature yet, but we're gonna get food, we're gonna get fruit from this now, you know, because it starts bearing now, it's not gonna stop again. Yeah, but we get fruit when you're going back down the road on the street. Yeah. 
It's kind of hard to see, but you can see them just peeking off the end of the branches there, the little pods. The small plant here. Remind if you go when you look, you can look it up. It's a famous little plant, a small little seed, and it's, I don't know where it comes from, no one planted it. It grows by itself. When it used to pop up, it pop up anywhere it want to pop up. Yeah, but this plant, insect bite, poison, anything parasitical in, internal thing, you can drink it for that too. So it actually work like busy. Like what they say, take busy for poison. Yeah. You can take this English plant, this plantain for poison too. Oh, yeah. They call it plantain. Yeah. yeah? Insect, all the insect bites, them and them things there. Skin disorders and them things there. Cool. All cells in us. Bless up, man. All yeah. of that, you know? That's right. Rastafari. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll come to this bridge in a little bit. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's, that's Congo Jesse, you know? Yes, Congo. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. And yeah. that man loves his peanuts, you know? Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. got some peanuts? Can't, yeah, I can't get Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I can't pass him, I don't give him his peanuts. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, we're getting higher. High, high, higher heights. Yeah, and getting closer to the bush line, off path, coming soon. You can't see much. You barely even see the mountain. As we get to the top, it definitely gets breezier. For sure. Have I seen it before? I think I've seen it, but I have no idea what it is. They call it the snake plant. Oh yeah, I've seen them selling them. Yeah. Like a good indoor plant, they say. Ah, yeah. very good indoor plant because why? Most plants use oxygen ah. and let off like, like carbon dioxide, right? I say go. But this plant, it lets off oxygen. Ah. So you know, if you're in a room where normally they say you can't sleep locked up in a room with flowers because flowers normally would use oxygen just like you. So if you're locked up in a room and the flowers, you have plenty of flowers in it, then after a while it's like you start get, you know, uh. respiratory problems because you're using oxygen and the flowers use the oxygen. So, <laughs> you know? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, so this one now lets off oxygen. That's why I say it's a good house plant. You can put it in your room. So they normally keep like this in a pot inside. People that has asthma problems and respiratory problems keep it inside the room and it helps more oxygenated, you know, keep yeah. the place more oxygenated. I've seen you. them selling big ones for about $80, $100 yeah. in Canada just yeah. a few weeks ago. Seriously? Yeah, man. Cha -cha. <laughs> and this is like wild, some part in jump, some places like people just wild, people just don't, they kind yeah. of know what it is. So yeah. They may just plant it as a flower, you know, but snake plant. Yeah, they get real big. Yeah, real yeah, tall. yeah, yeah. And it's good for it, it can be junk too internally. Yeah. But it might have some side effects on some people. Maybe like a vomiting, nausea, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, but it's still gonna work to do the job that is good for very far. So, people are trouble with herpes too. It helps eliminate herpes, you know? And some of them venereal diseases. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the snake plant. Yeah, man. So, this is what we were talking about earlier on. When we say good for tonic, and we said 11 month strength. <laughs> This it's is the whisk. Crazy looking whisk. It's almost yeah. flat, yeah? Yeah, flat. Flat And whisk. hard, but it's have a lot of grooves in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, so it's like about 11 grooves. Ah, oh, is that, that's what they call it, 11, 11 man strength. strength? Yeah. It's a great it's name, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this, 11 man strength. Tonic, stamina, endurance, longevity. Yeah, firm. Power in a rock. Reptile. Yeah, see it? Lodwis. Okay, this one I have seen, I think, although it does look kind of similar to the black whis. Yeah. Just a lot lighter color, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, interesting. Okay. Yeah, man. So this another powerhouse, as we say, tonic. To use when you're making a tonic. Lodwis. Levman strength. These two. And you have like a chain root and ramon bark. Wow. Powerful tonic you have. You can continue to drink that. Just drink that every day. And you become one of those powerhouse, man, powerhouse thing going around the place, you know? Not encouraging for you to go and bad up the place. 
you know? Yeah, not encouraging that, you know. Just encourage your youth to can use, use satisfy. Your power to nice up. Yeah, and to satisfy your spouse. Yeah, Rastafara. <laughs> Become a bedroom bully. <laughs> yeah. Eucalyptus. Oh, I didn't even know that grew in Jamaica. Yeah, man, you have some big trees down there when oh. you're passing out. So I got this from down there. Ah. Because what happened, the trees are so big and tall that you can't get them. You can't get these leaves no time at all because the trees are also slippery. What happened the other day, what caused I to get some, unless, unless a storm passed through and break down a branch, nice. that is how you will get some leaves because the trees are so tall you can, and they can be. Like they, those trees are unclimbable. They are slippery <laughs> trees and you know. So what happened the other day, this bridging was cutting a tree up there and the tree fell and broke down one of the eucalyptus trees. If you were coming down the road, you notice a tree cut. I, I did, driving down. up here. Yeah, I, yeah, saw, I saw that. It was yeah. this. Okay. So when I see it, I say, oh, that's providing. So I got, yeah. so I got a portion of leaves because I normally wouldn't get them so easily. As I said, the tree very, very tall in the air, you know? Yeah. So this is no good for cold, flu, any little respiratory problems and everything there. People even smoke it. So you have some people that put it in their herbs when they're smoking. Uh -huh. Yeah, to clear up them nasal passage and all these Cause things. Because it's like a uh, mental one almost? Like yeah, man, yeah, man. To it, sort of. Yes, and it, it makes an oil to that free up. Yeah. Free up when you have flu and these things, it makes an oil that can free yeah. up, you know? I know they so, use it as a cleanser too, like a, an antibacterial soap they have. Ah. Uh, uh, and you can also, like, for instance, a person that has um, asthma or stuff like this, just tough up, it gets very stuffy and you can't breathe and thing. You can just put some of this in some hot water. Put a towel over your head, mm -hmm. put it over and let the steam come up in your face. Yeah. Clear up man, clear up all the passages, nasal passage, everything. Old school way. Fast, fast, the old school yeah. way. And you already know rosemary. Yeah. Good old rosemary. All the time. Never change. So nice. Good for pain and headache. Also good for memory. So it's good for the brain. Ah. Yeah, it's a brain food too, it's a brain thing too, you know. Good for keep your memory up intact yeah so all people trouble with a little amnesia and them things they can't feed my rosemary tea man mm. you might start remembering some things if it's <laughs> if it's good because sometimes it's best when you don't remember yeah. so you know if if you want to remember and think it's safe for your memory to come back you can continue to drink some of this and some memory bush and your memory might come back you know that's the for right. So I just want to say, plant, because even most of the medicine that they make right now, if you research them deeply, most of them are plant-based, if not all. Most, if wow. not all, are plant-based medicine that they're serving in the pharmacies. The pharmaceuticals, they know that they are the ones, they use the plants, but they're not going to come and tell you that, because if they come and tell you that, because if you go and ask a doctor about a plant, you would probably, if it's a real doctor that's an old doctor that knows about these things and really genuine himself, he might say, yes, I've heard about that plant that is good for things and things, mm. but we, we don't really recommend it because we have this um, pharmaceutical tablet that we, we recommend and, and he's still not going to tell you that it's plant-based. Because if you tell him it's plant-based, then the people are going to try to go for the plant itself. Look at aspirin. We grew up learning about aspirin as the most terrible thing for headache and pain and all these things. And what aspirin come from? Willow bark. Yeah. The bark See, of the willow tree. Even know. I don't know. The bark <laughs> of no the idea. willow tree, brother. The bark of the know. willow tree they used to make aspirin. Yeah. So, as, so the bark of the willow tree is a terrible medicine for pain. So they take extract from it and make aspirin. So most of them medicines we know they are plant based. So if the people just come to your senses, because plants are everywhere, anywhere in the world you are. Africa, Europe, anywhere in the world, people are, I, I know I see plants. They might not be there in the winter or, and, and other times, but they are going to come back again in the spring. So there are plants out there that are medicinal plants that you can use. Every country has them. Because the thing about it, how God created this place, He makes sure that medicine scattered all over the world. So we might be using certain things in Jamaica, to heal cancer or to heal maybe a prostate cancer or diabetes while in another part of the world they know another plant that does the same thing and another part of the world 
they're doing the same thing but it's a different plant mm -hmm. so it's, it's, this, this planting is vast yeah and knowledge is from the cradle to the grave I never stop learning while I speak I learn every time I talk to someone maybe interview or something maybe if you yourself teach me something every time that I talk to you do I do an interview because my head is always open for knowledge so as I hear something and someone says something if I pass and I hear an old lady say yeah you know my feet foot was hurting me and I got that I said what you said <laughs> and listen a little carefully and she said yes and I use such and such and and I say eh, let me go research this thing somewhere and I go and maybe question somebody else or go down in my book and start research it then after that now they put it to the test by doing the physical work on it now and see how it works and see wow it really works with you man yeah man mm -hmm. because there are some ancient remedies that are there brother where I tell you they work they really work but you just have to know them and deal with them in the right and proper way so we're coming almost to the conclusion of this because I don't want to be just there long and thing and we did that part one already that's why we didn't even bother go over any of the herbs that we did before I chose more to go to teach the man about the tonic and then the ladies now that trouble with infertility too, and black tube and all these things there are herbs for that because people are sick all over the world there are herbs to take care of infertility there are herbs to deal with your black tube there are herbs to deal with your fibroids there are herbs for the prostate the diabetes the, 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 the swelling glands, the ulcer stomachs, the gastroenteritis problem, the swellings of people swelling up and having nerve varicose, you name it. If you any sickness that you can name in the world, there is cure for it also in herbs. Bless. Rastafari. Give thanks. I hope you enjoyed that powerful strength, endurance, herb tour. Please do connect with Buru below. I'll put his contact there. We got some music videos that we've done in the past. We're working on a new one as well. And if you ever need to hire Buru as a tour guide or want more information about herbs, please do contact him. So bless up. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.